So you're getting a ton of traffic and a lot of ads to carts, but you're still not making any sales. For those of you guys that don't know me, my name is Juan Valdez, and if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the DFAM. I get tons of messages again through all social media platforms. I get emails. I also get you guys, you know, showing me love and supporting me. I do appreciate all of you guys for helping me get to 2,000 subscribers. The VFAM, you know, is getting stronger than ever. So I appreciate, you know, obviously all you guys uh, supporting and engaging with all my content. Now, I do see all the comments that you guys leave me. I do try to respond to as many of you guys as I can. Sometimes, you know, obviously it's a, it's a good amount of comments. I can't respond to everyone, but I do try every single day to respond to, you know, all the comments that I get. You know, I get a ton of people reaching out and letting me know like, hey, I'm getting all this traffic. I'm getting all these ad to cards, but I'm not making any sales. And I was actually just just at Ty Lopez's place uh, a few days back recording for one of his courses. Obviously you guys know uh, Ty brings in you know, high level experts in many different industries to you know, kind of teach some of his programs. When it comes down to e-commerce, right, you have all different kinds of parts of the business. You have your store setup process, you have your product research process, you have your you know, setting up your ads process, and you also have your back end process, right? It's like a few different parts of the business, and obviously they're all important. When it comes down to your business, right, it all has to be congruent. A recent comment that I got was someone saying, you know, hey, I'm getting all this traffic and I'm, I'm not getting any ads to cards. I actually got Pluto here. He wants to join you guys and say hello. So Pluto, say hello to everyone. <laughs> uh, he actually uh, was running around here, so I had to get him. He was making noise out there, so I had to let him back in the room. Now, the comment that I got was, I'm getting all this traffic, and I'm getting these ads to carts, but no sales. And he included a link to his store underneath the comment. And the name of the store, based on the name, it was a, a general name. You know, I didn't have an exact name to what kind of store it was going to be, so I wasn't, I didn't know what kind of store I was coming into. So I figured it'd be more of a, you know, a general store because it was more of a general name. They didn't, it just, it wasn't a niche name. You know, your everything store. It was something close to that type of name. So I figured, okay, so I have a general store here. So I'm expecting to come into a general store. Now, when I clicked on the link, when I landed on the page, you know, they ended up having a fitness background and all their products and collections and everything was basically based around fitness so basically I came into you know expecting a general store but I ended up landing on a fitness store and now nothing wrong with obviously going with fitness since it wasn't congruent you know from the name of the website to the page that I actually landed on it automatically caused some miscommunication in my head right so if it's causing it in my head and I'm used to seeing all kinds of different things within the e-commerce space you can only imagine the miscommunication that it's causing for the consumer right when they're coming into you know a general website name and they land on a fitness page so when it comes to you know being congruent all the parts of the business have to be congruent if you're gonna have have a fitness page you want to make sure first thing of course your domain is a fitness domain so people know when they're clicking on the website they're what they're gonna land on off the top you know if you're gonna have a fitness store and let's say if your fitness store is put together it's well put together store as nice images collections are all set up product descriptions are great you know pretty much everything that puts together a great store but now when it comes time to set up your ads you know you don't have good ad copy you don't you're not using the best images you're not, uh, you know, obviously setting up the right kind of sales. You know, there's some kind of disconnect, right? Because you can't go from having a perfectly set up store to then not having perfectly set up ads. When it comes down to e-commerce overall, the entire business, everything has to be congruent. That's just how it is. If there's any disconnect from when the time where a customer sees your ad, gets to your website, decides to get the product or you know, doesn't decide to get the product and then from there goes through your back end process where again you're following up with them and things like that. If there's some disconnect anywhere between the process, it can definitely cost you sales and you know bring down your conversion. If you're gonna take the time to set up a proper store, you know, a well put together store, make sure you take the time to you know have your products and your product pages set up correctly using the best images using the right kind of product descriptions then from there if you're going to set up your ads make sure you're using the best ad copy the best images you know the best kind of sales and promotions and also from there you want to make sure you have a back-end process in place where you're sending follow-up emails you know you're then engaging with your customers after getting feedback on the order process on the products you know you want to make sure you have everything in line because then it makes sense when a customer comes in you know through your ad first off they're seeing a nice well put together ad so they're probably going to expect you know a well put together store so obviously if you have that you know it makes it very appealing to the customer because obviously it makes sense now when they get to your page they go to your product page they see again the best product images the best descriptions you know now they're you know it builds trust when they can see that everything is congruent everything is lining up you have a well put together store 
and it makes it a lot easier to feel comfortable buying from the website. If you go to any other website, if you go to Amazon, Apple, any of the big, obviously with the biggest companies and their websites, you can see that though from the time that you click on an ad, if you see an ad, or if you just go to the website, to the time where you you know you look at a product, to even after if you buy it from the website, the process is streamlined. You know, Amazon, I you know I get things from their like household goods from there all the time, right? When I go to Amazon's website, when I get to their product pages, they have everything in place. They have you know upsells, reviews, all the cognitive biases and things that we you know that you guys can uh, include in your store, or you should have in your store. All the things that basically make people want to buy, they have all those things put together. Now after you add to cart if you end up buying they have a back-end system in place where they're emailing you right away the confirmation you know the next steps you need to keep in mind and they even end up emailing you after you know sending other product recommendations and things like that so they have a pretty you know smooth process and everything is again congruent it makes sense if they're gonna have a nice front end a nice looking website you know it makes sense to also have a back-end setup and you know congruent back-end process hopefully I didn't confuse you guys I wanted to pretty much keep this video right to the chase and right to the point so what I also wanted to do is I wanted to figure out how I can find a way to add more value to you guys as obviously for showing me you know so much love and you know engaging so much with my videos and leaving you know all the feedback and all that stuff. So what I wanted to do is in one of the next videos or actually for this video I'll be picking one person to actually do a full store review for and I'll either do that live or I'll just record it and then I'll upload it to you so all, everybody can see and learn from it. Now all you have to do is make sure you obviously, you're subscribed to my channel. Make sure you guys comment below. And third, make sure you turn on post notifications, you hit the notification bell. That way you guys can get notified every time I drop a new video. As long as you guys have, you know, do all those three things, I'll be picking a comment and I'll be picking one of you guys' store to, you know, pretty much do a full review to make sure that, you know, your store is put well put together. I figured how else could I provide more value to you guys? So I usually only do store reviews for our P2P students. Me and my business partners, Samia, put together the P2P Accelerator, where it pretty much teaches you everything you need from step A to Z, learning everything from how to set up a Shopify store to, you know, all the way to how you set up your first Facebook ad, contact influencers, back end process and all that stuff. We put together that, that drop shipping installer to pretty much teach all of our students and we only do store use for them, but I figured why not, you know, help you guys out and try to provide you guys with as much value as I can. So make sure if you haven't already, drop a comment below. If you did get any value from this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Of course, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.